Uh, I am a Christian, but I do not think being gay prevents somebody from being religious. Um, I do, of course, view it as a sin, but, you know, we all do sin. It's not that it, that's, I don't think that church interferes with, like, or me being gay interferes with it, but I guess I'd rather not put myself in situations where I know that I'm probably going to hear how much they dislike the lifestyle and how much they dislike, you know, how, how I am and how they're not comfortable with it. Because I'm sure like, they're going to they're gonna keep, you know, reinforcing it and enforcing like, oh, it's not good. It's not, you know, the way that it should be. And I mean, I know that's not all the churches and I know that's not how everybody is, but when you know that those particular people that are very strong, strong-willed and, you know, into their beliefs, I know that that's something that I don't want to, you know, put myself in because I don't want to feel, I mean, I wouldn't feel uncomfortable, but I would just be like, I don't want to hear about that kind of stuff, you know, knowing, you know, how I am. I knew I was gay when, well, it's hard to say, like when I was little, I always knew I was different. I always knew that I didn't. I guess feel the same way towards, I guess, girls as I, I guess, I was more attracted to boys than I was to girls, but I wasn't really sure with myself, I wasn't comfortable with myself to say that I was gay, so really once I actually became comfortable saying I was gay was when I was like 16, 17, but I mean, I, I'm going to say, I mean, I've, I've known since I was, I mean, able to even think about something like that, yeah, since I was little, like five or so. Well, uh, I know I'm straight because I just love women and uh, I find the thought of being with a man just extremely repulsive to me personally. Uh, my first kiss, or my first peck was around first grade, I guess, the playground. <laughs> straight people? I love straight people. I mean, I, like, I mean, no, I don't think of them any differently than, than gay people. I mean, I think straight people are... I mean, everyone's this, I mean, everyone has their own likes and dislikes and I don't think anybody's I mean just your personality is different but the fact that what you like doesn't make you a different person your sexual orientation shouldn't make you a different person it's not like I look at you know a boy and a girl together and I'm thinking to myself gross or anything because that's because I wouldn't want the same thing to be said about me so I don't look at them any differently I just I mean everyone's you choose to like who you choose to like so I believe that love can exist between two men and two women. I also have friends that I love, it's just in a different way, in my case. I don't believe that any people are born with any sexuality in particular, so uh, I believe they grow into it through experiences they have in life, just like anybody else does their own. I think being gay is both the way you were born, and also environment also has something to do with it. I think whenever you're born into an, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, I think it's mostly like hereditary, but um, also the environment plays a role because also whenever you're around a lot of females, this is why I don't think it's just environment because when like a straight guy is around all these females and all this stuff, like it doesn't make him gay, it just makes him more aware of like a female and like the, you know, how to treat a lady is what they always say. But whenever you already, have that, I guess, gay gene or whatever, and then you're around a lot of females, it makes it that much more stronger, I guess, the effect, and it makes you just kind of realize it more, like, okay, yeah, I, I kind of, not that you identify yourself as like a female or anything, but you have more of like those types of characteristics of like what they like, I guess, in that sense, yeah. My longest relationship is the one I'm in now, which is three years at the moment. My longest relationship has been almost two years. It was like a year and like eight months, I guess. Love to me is the way you feel about somebody that would make you be willing to die for them and feeling like you can't live without that person and wanting to spend every waking moment trying to make that person happy. Love to me means I guess being able to feel happy with a certain person and know that they, you know, just the sound of hearing their voice and the sound of being next, or like the feeling of being next to them and how they make you feel whenever you have those goosebumps and like those butterflies 
and it doesn't stop, I feel like that's, you know, what, what love is. Happiness, always being happy and not, you know, being, being a stress relief to you with that person rather than being a stressor. Uh, my relationship with my roommates are, it's, it's really good actually, because um, me and my best friend actually moved here um, this past August and we were nervous because my you know, best friend's also gay. And so we were just like, okay, I wonder, hopefully we get roommates that are very open-minded or at least very, you know, just at least accepted. I accept, yeah, they accept how we are, at least if, you know, they don't have to agree with it, but at least accept it. And, you know, I've been very fortunate that we were able to have really good roommates. I mean, one of the roommates, um, I remember him telling me that he was homophobe, like he wasn't comfortable with the gay life. Like he always thought that every guy, like every guy that's gay wants to hit on him and he would, you know, that made him uncomfortable. But he did say like once he finally met us that he has a different outlook on it. I mean, he still doesn't agree with it, but at least he has grown to accept it and is now not just like fearful of all the gays thinking that they're gonna hit on him and stuff. But luckily we were fortunate to get really good accept you know, people that accept really good open minded, you know, roommates at the very end, yeah. Living with my roommates has been fine. I mean, they may be gay but they're not very flamboyant and they know certain things make me uncomfortable and they avoid those things. And like I said, when somebody knows they're a man and doesn't pretend not to be, then it usually doesn't bother me. And they, yeah, they've never done anything that makes me uncomfortable. Um, one thing that I just want to say too is just like the, whenever you're like a child, the thing that makes you, it makes it harder is just like knowing you're different, like in bullying also, I feel like bullying is something that is, it happens a lot to a lot of like the homosexuals and a lot of gays, or just not even just gays, just anybody who's, just feels different and stuff like because they know that they don't they're not the the norm they know that they don't feel like they're the norm of like everyone else so it's just it makes you stronger and I guess and that's why a lot of gays I think nowadays are more free and open because now that they're able to be free and open and then sometimes they become more obnoxious also but just because they can now feel free to be who they are and I think it's just um, I'm hoping that society keeps and you can tell like study starting to have more of an open mind to it. So I think now that it just continues, hopefully there won't be as much bullying and as much like, like fear of not being able to be yourself whenever you're young because whenever you're just yourself, it makes you just, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you're so much more happy.